During our last video, uh, we discussed the basics, and the key to the basics of the middle block was that the elbow had to be on the inside, and it had to move with the torso as opposed to just flicking the arm out for it to be effective. In this series, we'd like to expand and take that motion and show you how it can be applied to different things that don't involve a block at all. It's just the motion of a middle block. The first one is we're going to take our C-step, an outward motion, and we're going to translate it into something that seems completely different. We'll take a wrist grab. I'm going to bring my arm in, step past him, and rotate. That is this. Just to demonstrate again, in classical traditional Taekwondo, this motion, sometimes referred to as a crescent step and a C-step, is what we're applying here. And you'll notice that the body moves at the same time and in harmony with the feet. You don't get this and then the body rotates and this. Again, same motion, this time we apply it to here. We can strike here, or we can reach right into the sternocleidomastoid muscle and affect the same thing as well. This time, the outward wrist lock, sometimes referred to as a kote gaish. If you do it with one hand, you can see its effect and how it's being driven the same way, with the same motion, in concert with the hips. From this position, we're going to do this. This is called White Crane Nods Its Head. We begin by sequentially locking here, and then performing the same motion to there. Again, doing it without his finger, doing it with his finger. We have this motion, especially in Sipjin. And now we'll show you how it can apply in actual application. He throws a punch. I block, step in. And at this point, I take the elbow, aim it down, and shift to a back stance. All right, we're going to do this motion here, or this posture. This is usually referred to as a double high block and middle block. However, when we think of it as a block, we go back to this very weak posture that really we know, because the body isn't working with it, doesn't really work well. If, however, we think of it as taking and deflecting and punch and following with an uppercut, you get the same position but not the same effect. Last one, we're going to utilize the same motion against the wrist grab. The only difference is we're going to cover the other hand to hold it in place, and we end up with a wrist lock. 